everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. So today, I thought I would start off my clean video a little bit different because I feel like I do every sort of clean video in the same format and you guys are always wanting more clean videos and I'm starting to like run out of different ideas to do different things and especially with what's going on at the moment, I can't get hold of like any new cleaning products. So yeah, thought I'd just start off the video with a little bit of a chit chat today. I'm to do a big clean of the house i have just been filming non-stop lately i've been trying to like bank all the videos and film a load so then i can have like a, just a big editing day and i'm also trying to get like a head of video so like i'll film say like four or five videos so then i've got like two done for the week after do you get what i'm saying because i feel otherwise if i don't do that then i end up burning out and like not taking a day off because filming and editing can just be a long job as you guys know so yeah, that's what I've been doing at the moment. So because of that, I've been sort of letting the cleaning slip a little bit. I've not been cleaning up and doing like my daily clean because pretty much most of my days have been wake up, emails, um, content, editing, Instagram content, replying to messages. Like there's always so much to do. I'm gonna have a big old clean today. I'm gonna take you to my cleaning cupboard actually and we're gonna have a look what products I have to use because I do have a ton of products. Luckily, I am a little bit of a hoarder of cleaning products because I love trying new things out. So thankfully I have got a lot of stuff to keep me going. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and get a load of new products. We're gonna just do a full house clean there is so much to clean like i feel like i've just left a lot of mess out as well does anybody else get like that i don't mind showing you guys though because i just think it's reality like i'm not going to make out that i am some tidy you know clean person all the time and that my house doesn't ever get a mess because it definitely does i'm sure you guys can relate as well and it's not a bad thing like your house has got to be lived in and you know you've got to enjoy life sometimes but blah, blah, blah. Do love a clean house. There is no better feeling than when you have just cleaned spotlessly your whole house and you walk in, it smells all fresh and I don't know, like your mind feels so much better. So I'm really looking forward to this today because I have let things get a little bit on top of itself. I feel like as well, because obviously I do clean the videos for YouTube, I go to clean and I think, oh no, 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 wait, you, you're filming a clean video tomorrow and then it ends up getting like 10 times worse. So just think sometimes that some of this stuff is 10 times worse than what it would be normally if I didn't do YouTube, if that makes sense. Like, if it wasn't doing YouTube, I would have cleaned it up by now, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. Right, anyway, my cat has just made an appearance. I look a little bit naked today. Obviously, I'm doing a clean video, so I wasn't gonna go and do a full glam. It's that day as well where I'm due to do a full wash of my hair tonight, so that's why we're looking all slick Rick. Um, I've just put a little bit of foundation on, some lippy and mascara, just to make me look a little bit more awake. I've put on a big baggy hoodie, some cycle shorts and my slippers. And yeah, we are ready to clean. Um, I just did my nails yesterday, my first set of acrylics. So I think I'm gonna wear gloves today. I always get told off by you guys for not wearing gloves. I don't know what it is about wearing gloves. I just feel like I can't, I don't know. Anyway, let's go and look at my cleaning products, get my stuff and then of course, of course, it's not a Laura Meacham clean video without making a coffee of some sort. So yeah, let's go. If anybody ever wanted to know where my cleaning products go, and um, they're normally more organized than this, but I have a mum living here and it's not to um, call out my mum or anything, but she does tend to have a habit of not putting things back neatly how they should be she just chucks them in if you go into my mum's cupboards at home this is what she does like she just chucks everything back in which is super annoying so i'm gonna have to go through this and tidy up like what's that doing in there um but yeah this is where all of my cleaning products live so i'm gonna just take these all out and um, pick out a few products that i haven't used in a while or things that need using up i'm gonna work it like that okay so i've just grabbed my um baskets out just wanted to quickly show you everything i have so this is like my bathroom basket so i've got a lot of um just like lime scale, toilet cleaners, bleach, um, bathroom cleaners. So that's where all they live. And then I have like a basket just full of like day-to-day -day stuff as well. A um, thousand one carpet fresh. Oh, that's about run out. So I will put that there. So yeah, in this clean with me, I'm just trying to use up things or just use things, like I say, that only have a little bit in. Because there's no point of like putting things with not a lot left back in the basket. So yeah, I did recently get this on my Morrison's delivery. This is my favorite, favorite method ever. It's a rhubarb one, but I've got to use up this one. Um, this is the Daily Kitchen. 
it's um clementine scent but i really don't like it um but i'm gonna have to use that so i'll use that for today and um, we're then going to use the method for the bathroom i actually like this it's in um eucalyptus mint it smells quite fresh um i've then got this carpet fresh and not thousand and one actually there's not a lot left i don't even think there'll be anything in there but um yeah that's from christmas winter berries so i'm gonna use that i've got a hello oh no that's lavender escape i love lavender for my bathroom this is my last lavender sephora i oh, need some more of this so yeah i always use this for the bathroom that's my favorite scent in the bathroom it smells very like spary i've recently got into this i've explained this before guys but i bought this and never used it for the longest time because i just couldn't get it to work um yeah it was really weird um but how i find that you use it best now is that you clean your sink as you normally would and then um once it's all clean dry it down spray this and then with a damp or dry cloth use this and it buffs up your sink so nice i've literally got like a drop of this left so i'm going to use this as well it's the flash bicarbonate soda love this smells so fresh um i've got a drop of that so i'm going to use the harpic i always use that now this one i don't like as much it's just not the same pine as this harpic one but um yeah i will use that as well this is my absolute favorite i'm on my last bottle of this this is the flash bathroom um liquid it is so nice smells so fresh definitely recommend this so yeah these are the products i'm going to use i have got another sephora somewhere i think it's the hello springtime i've got like a little bit of that left so i'm going to be using that anyway that's just a little rundown of the products that i'm going to be using today um let's just get straight into this clean with me guys because that's what you're all here waiting for let's get ourselves a drink get ready prep ourselves Put some music on to motivate us and let's get into the cleaning. Okay, so you guys know the drill by now. Iced cold latte at the ready. I can't start a cleaning video without making a nice cold drink. So yeah, grab yourself a drink, whether that's a cheeky alcoholic beverage. I mean, every day feels like the weekend at the moment and the weather, oh, it's just so good. So yeah, whatever you need to motivate yourself, go and grab yourself a drink. Comfy clothes around you. We're happy to know my hair's all scraped back today, so it's out of the way. I'm putting the tunes on too. I've gone for old school trance today because if this music doesn't put you in a good mood or doesn't make you want to get up and dance then honestly I don't even know what will this music for me is just yeah one of my favorite like genres and times of music it reminds me of when I was younger and I just feel like it always has a very upbeat and uplifting vibe to it so yeah love a bit of old school trance as you can see I do throw out some little dance moves because it was really getting me in the mood I hadn't listened to this sort of music in a while so yeah, loving that. Um, first of all, anyway, cleaning mode. Um, I'm just decluttering the sides, so putting things in the dishwasher, getting rid of all the bits and bobs on the sides. I'm then popping on some rubber gloves, which you'll be glad to see. Everybody always moans at me for not wearing these, and I actually did my nails like the day previous. I did my own acrylic, so I didn't want to ruin them. So I popped the gloves on. I've listened to you guys, um, and I'm just taking my flash bicarbonate with soda spray and just spraying down all the surfaces and giving those a good old scrub. Para mis poesías, te toca tú solo, sabes. Chico con par de maldades, pero sin ser verdadero, bebé. Te toca tú solo, sabes. Momentos que siento reales. Then, very quickly, I just wanted to light my candle. So, my best friend Jess got me this Yankee candle for my birthday. It is a customized one with Buddy and Boo on the top. It's vanilla cupcake. It smells absolutely divine. So, yeah, I just wanted to quickly light that just to give that amazing scent in the kitchen. Right, we are moving on to the back of the kitchen, the back sort of surfaces. So I'm now just giving these a good old scrub and clean down. Um, and then I'm just taking some white vinegar spray just to buff and shine my coffee um, machine. If you don't have glass spray um, or if you can't get hold of it, because I know there's so many things you cannot get hold of at the moment, white vinegar, honestly, is a treat. It works on so many different things. So yeah, it's always good to have a spray or just some white vinegar in your cupboard because there's so many different uses for it within cleaning. Pero motivos para quedarme. Tú me ves como nadie más bebe. Then I'm just quickly cleaning my cake stand because all the cakes have gone, obviously. <laughs> so I'm just using some fairy liquid to clean this. And then once I've dried it down, I will just go in with a glass cloth. Um, and just buff it all up because obviously it will smear if you just clean it and dry it with a normal tea towel so yeah just get a um glass cloth and just buff it after 
just so there's no streaks on it. So yeah, it looks as good as new. By the way, I got this from Amazon. I had quite a few of you asking me where it's from. Um, it's from Amazon. Just type in cake stand with glass dome lid. I think that's what I typed in. Next up, I'm just cleaning the shelf above. Always remember just to give a wipe over of like any objects that you have as well because obviously they collect dust too. So yeah, I'm just cleaning that like marshmallow glass thing um, and I did like the frame and stuff. Right, now I'm moving on to the kitchen sort of like cupboards and drawers. These collect so much dirt, it's untrue. I think like just debris and stuff falls down from when you like preparing food and whatnot. So I'm just taking a diluted Sephora spray that I made up myself um, and then yeah, just simply wipe them all down it smells so so good and obviously it just gives it a good clean Okay, and then I'm doing the exact same with the shelves on the opposite side. So again, just giving that a good clean and getting rid of all of the dust. And then I'm just wiping over all of my coffee, tea and sugar jars because again, they're white. So they show up dirt as it is, but especially loads of dust. So yeah, I'm just giving those a good scrub and clean. I'm then just giving my Smeg toaster a nice shine again with white vinegar spray. I'm still waiting to hear back from them, by the way, guys, about my um, kettle that broke. I haven't even had it for a year and it just broke. So that's why I've got that temporary one, just in case you're wondering. Which, by the way, it's really good. It was only like £25 from Amazon and it's so, so good. So I do highly recommend it if you're looking for a really good kettle. Um, right, next, doing the hob. As always, I'm using my trusty old Sif. Um, and yeah, I love that. It just smells so good and gives the hob a really good shine. I'm then just doing like the splash back as well. And then I go over with um, some white vinegar, which I didn't, you didn't see that, but I did because it smears otherwise. And then I'm just cleaning the top because, oh my God, that had so much dust up there on that like extractor fan. Then I'm just moving over to my oven and just wiping down the front of that because again, you can just get little marks. Um, and stuff on um, so yeah just giving that a nice shine okay moving on to the bins now I'm actually not emptying them today because they weren't full to the brim so there's no point so I just gave them a little refresh popped some bin like deodorizer in and then yeah just give them a clean inside and out. Then we're moving on to the sink. Now I'm using my trusty sieve as per usual and just, you know, like a faux minky. This one's from Primark. Um, yeah, so giving that a good scrub. And then I'm gonna take my sieve stainless steel spray. Make sure your sink's dry and use a dry cloth for this. And honestly, the shine it gives is just so, so insane. I love that. Okay, then back to my worktops. Um, I realized that I hadn't cleaned my vase. So I have a vase with faux flowers in, but the vase obviously gets dusty and a little bit dirty itself. It wasn't looking completely shiny. So I just went in with some white vinegar spray again um, and just buffed that. I'm then just taking some fabric refresher and just spraying my flowers because it just smells so good. Um, and then I'm just gonna go over to the Oreo one and just do the same, just wipe it down and make sure there's no dust on it. I'm then just tidying up this window. Um, I had it open because the cats love sitting there and looking out. So that's why like it looks such a mess because I had to move things so they didn't knock them over. Um, so yeah, just putting them back where they should be and just gonna wipe down that surface over there. Then I'm just quickly getting the hoover and just hoovering around the kitchen. Still haven't got a new hoover guys. Um, yeah, I'm trying to save at the moment and hoovers can be a little bit costly. So yeah, I'm just sort of bearing with this at the moment. Unless anyone wants to send me a hoover to test out for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna bear with for the meantime whilst this still works. Your place 
I'm then just quickly giving my bar stools a wipe over again with Sephora and just a cloth because they're white, they do show up dirt um, and they also collect dust like at the bottom of them. Um, and then also with the Sephora, I'm just going around all my skirting boards in the kitchen. Look at that dust. It is crazy how quickly dust collects. Like that's just from a week not doing it. I'm then just taking my flash speed mop and again, just cleaning the floors in the kitchen. Okay, so that is the kitchen all done. Now we're gonna move on to the living area. Okay, so onto the living room. We're gonna sort out the sofa first of all. So you're just gonna take a brush. I got this little brush thing from Poundland. It was like a pound. And I use it just to get off all of like the dust and cat hairs and stuff from my sofa. And then I also just take a fabric refreshner of some sort. So I'll just go over the sofa with the brush. And honestly, it's crazy how much dust, and like I said, just hairs come off the sofa. Um, and then I'll just spray over with that fabric refresher as well, just to freshen it up and make it smell really fresh. Fresh. Okay, moving on to the mirrored furniture now. I'm just taking my glass cloth for this and some white vinegar spray again. Mirrored furniture is lovely, but oh my goodness, does it show up dust? I feel like I'm constantly cleaning this like every single day. So yeah, just cleaning absolutely everything on there. The tray, all the little bits on the tray, just wiping over the Tom Ford book as well. And yeah, just hoping that, that Scrubs up well, but no doubt within two hours there'll be so much dust on it again. And then just taking my fabric refreshner and spraying those flowers too, just so it smells lovely. And then I'm moving on to my TV stand and my little mirror side table there. Now I was thinking about buying a piece of furniture to put here because it's really bugging me, but guys, I'm planning on moving in the next year, so I'm just sort of leaving the furniture now because there's no point. So yeah, that's the little update on there. Um, right, hoover again. So I'm just hoovering the rug and just everywhere around here. Then just taking my 1001 carpet refresh spray after I've hoovered and just spraying that on and it just makes it smell so, so good. There wasn't much left of this, so I just used up whatever was left in the tin. Okay, moving on to the dining table. Again, good old white vinegar spray and my glass mirror cloth. Honestly, white vinegar, you can use it for so many different things. I just love it. It's not harsh either. Like, it doesn't upset my chest like some cleaning products do because they're so, you know, chemical based. So, yeah, I really, really recommend it. And then I'm going to do the legs as well because it's, it's there. I can't even speak. As you can see, they are mirrored. So, again, like anything, they collect dust and dirt. And then just to finish off, I'm taking my flash speed mop again. I reused the cloth that I had on for the kitchen, so I just turned it over onto the other side. And then how I reuse it further is I'll then take it to the sink, rinse it in like hot water with some antibacterial, like as a flora, um, just so it obviously gets all the dirt out. And then I'll use my method floor cleaner that you just spray onto the floor. And then as you can see, I'm just, yeah, using the washed cloth on the floor so it just helps you get more out of them because they can be quite costly and you can go through them like no tomorrow and then finally just taking a little bit of febreze vanilla because it smells so good and just giving a little spritz and yeah we are looking all nice and clean and smelling so so good i wish you could smell how amazing it smells in here right now but yeah here is my sort of open planned kitchen living and dining area all nice and sparkling 
Okay, so before we make our way to the bathroom to clean that, um, just thought I'd quickly show you this little side. It is in my hallway. Yeah, it's just a little window ledge that I have a little tray on, a little clock and a little lamp. And yeah, it needed just a wipe over. There was so much dust. So that's all I'm doing there. And just taking my glass cloth just to clean all of the mirrored sort of, you know, decor and that little tray too. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the bathroom. So first things first, I'm just getting rid of all of these products that were out. Don't know why they were left there. That was my mum. And then I am just taking good old the Flash bathroom liquid thing. Oh my goodness. I love this. I'm not ever going to start going on about this because the smell and the freshness of this is just so, so unreal. So yeah, I'm just using that with a bath matic to clean my bath. And then because I have a shower over my bath, it's really handy because I use that just to rinse it all down. So yeah, that's all I'm doing there. And then once that is all clean, I just like to take a Zaflora, take any of your choice. I like the lavender one for the bathroom because as I mentioned, I feel like it has that sort of spa vibes. So yeah, I just pop a little bit into the bath and just dilute it with some water and leave that there. And it just lets off a beautiful aroma. Then I'm just quickly cleaning and wiping down my bath rack. So I've just took everything off, wiped it down and then wiping everything back. No, wiping everything back? Wiping everything down as I put it back on because yeah, when it just sits there, it collects dust and I don't really use them things for show. So moving on to this little drawer um, unit. Oh my goodness, this is the bane of my life as well. Everything always spills out in these. I feel like every time I clean, I'm having to clean out these drawers because something has leaked or whatever. So yeah, I'm just cleaning the insides of those, putting everything back, then cleaning down the top of this. So I then noticed a few stains that just wouldn't come out, like tea stains and things. Um, so I just got some Barkeeper's Friend. It's like a powder and um, you just scrub it and oh my goodness, it will get rid of anything. It is the best thing ever. Make sure you try it out first on the different surfaces because yeah, it is strong, but it's so good. It is a must in your cleaning cupboard. If you haven't got it, you need to try it. Next, we're just moving over to the um, toilet. I had to think about that then. I'm just using a wipe here, so I had a wipe left in my cupboard and then it was just sitting there, so I just thought I'd use that because it was convenient. I don't normally use wipes like you already know, but yeah, I just thought I would for this. And then I'm just taking a new Harpic rim thing, I'll just pop that on, and then I'm just using the duck pine this time. I don't like this one as much as the Harpic, it doesn't smell the same, but you know, I needed to use it up, so that's what I did. Um, and then just stamping my toilet paper. So yeah, if your toilet paper like ever unrolls too much, you can just simply roll it back and then just take it to your sink and stamp it underneath your tap and yeah, it just looks a little bit more prettier, I guess. Um, right, I'm then just taking my white vinegar spray again and cleaning my mirror and cleaning my vase and the other sort of like mirrored accessories I have in here and then I'm just taking just a cloth and just cleaning all the sides and then I'm going to go to the sink and clean that too. Okay, so final few things to do, just cleaning the towel rail again, glass cloth spray, white vinegar, work to tree, and then I'm just using some Method Rhubarb Floor Cleaner, it's like a pre-diluted one, and just my flash mop, and this is it, all done, looking fresh, smelling amazing, yeah, happy days. Okay, so I called it a day because I had been cleaning like five hours um, in those last clips. So I thought I'd just finish the rest of the next day. I feel like you never get a sense of time when you watch these cleaning videos. You never know how long it's taken me to do it. So yeah, this was the next day. 
it did take me a while to do all of that. And when you're filming it as well, it takes even longer. So there's not really a lot to do in the bedroom. I just cleaned down the mirror, um, bedside tables. Just gonna do both window sills as well. And then I just gave everywhere a hoover. By the way, if you noticed a mirror in my bedroom smashed, um, you will know if you watch my Instagram, I smashed my mirror the other day. So a new one is on order. Ah, oh, dramas. But yeah, anyway, here is my bedroom looking all nice and clean. Now I'm just moving on to the hallway, just cleaning the front door mat and just giving everywhere a good hoover. Okay, moving on to my dressing room. Now, I'm just giving this little shelving unit a wipe over. It's like my faux, oh, what are they called? Like middle counters. It's from Ikea. It was so inexpensive and I love this. I feel like it just finishes the room off. Um, it collects so much dust. Oh my goodness. I feel like this room in itself is just a dust trap. Um, everybody warned me about having open wardrobes and how much dust it collects and it really does. Like your clothes end up having dust on, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm constantly just like wiping things down in here. So I'm just cleaning the top as well and just that little black tray. That's from HomeSense by the way. I get a few people asking me about that. A lot of my accessories I feel are from HomeSense. Um, if there's anything in particular you wanna know, just ask me where it's from and I'll try and answer. Um, I would normally take everything out and do a proper clean, but I'm being a little bit lazy and just sort of cleaning the front bits <laughs> just where you can see which yeah um it take me ages to take all the shoes out and um clean the shelves properly but i will do that one day but just for now we're doing a quick show clean a show clean is what you can see <laughs> So I'm just working my way around this room and cleaning out my piano. I don't know if you guys have seen this in here, it's like a new addition. Um, I bought it because I wanted to get back learning again and also just to keep me occupied, something to do. I got it from Amazon but they put the price up by like £100 now, I hate it when sellers do that. But yeah, it's a really good like electric piano, I love it. So just giving that a wipe over and then I'm just going to grab the hoover and hoover everywhere up. By the way, if you notice loads of bits on this loungewear set is because it's one of those loungewear sets where I swear you just sit down and you have like all dust and hairs on you. It's one of them things that, yeah, you constantly need one of them sticky things to get things off you. It's a bit of a nightmare. And then again, just taking the Method Rhubarb floor cleaner and just wiping down the floor too. So yeah, anyway guys, that is this clean with me done. That is my room all finished. I really, really hope you have enjoyed watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a big thumbs up and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.